Hey up lads and lasses, Danfi here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Now today, uh, shout out and thanks to Voices of War, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So normally I go through a huge bun uh, bunch of numbers and confuse myself and all my viewers in one go. So we're going to take a nice relaxed one today. Voices of War have thankfully, and Grey Ghost who filled in the one ship that apparently they missed. Um, all of the ships, when they get enhanced, when you max them out, they get a different visual look. Uh, as an example here, if we go down to my frigates and we have a look at my ruby. So this is a ruby, it's got no points into it. And here is my iron ruby. This is maxed out and as you can see, it's got some additional weird little bumpy things at the front. It's got a little bit bigger as well in terms of hull. It's got some extra bits and pieces. All ships have this sort of enhanced look and version on them. So it's actually quite cool. So I thought we'd go through and have a look at them all together. And uh, I'll comment on them a bit and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're going to start off with the frigates and first up we have the Carillion. Uh, yeah, it looks almost the same but if you look on the uh, like the side of the ship you can see this like spontoon sort of thing popping off and um, yeah that's like a little bit of an addition there. We got some extra details going on along the, uh, the sides here. So yeah, quite interesting. This one's quite subtle uh, in comparison to some other ones. Also believe it's a little bit longer as well in terms of its overall length, like they've sort of cut it in half and stuck a middle bit in. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool looking, I quite like that. We're then looking at the FG300. Um, more or less, it just gets fatter. Um, <laughs> it kind of loses this really nice sleek design that it has and then gains like this bulkier section like down the edges the whole rear side where it's got this almost like stealth armor gets changed into this bulky um stuff as well yeah not too much of a fan of that one we then have everyone's favorite toilet it's the noma uh this is the nubium i believe um yeah it looks quite a bit different so it's got this extended front which is just a square block uh yeah and then here you can see at the rear it's got these sort of additional thruster housing uh up the top there on either side uh for the most part though it looks relatively normal that top deck actually looks like it's been raised up down the middle as well and it's got some kind of spontoony thing going on as well on the side still ugly in my opinion <laughs> and the worst looking ship in the game or at least one of them uh there'll be someone out there that's gonna hate me now and they'll probably comment like no it's amazing and yeah but no it's really not uh we then have the mer s the mer serenitas and yeah this is again another bit of a subtle one it's got this sort of additional side armor upgrade down uh the right hand side here which would is duplicate on the other side got some additional little beacony light things coming up uh from the front midsection on the top deck uh the front has changed slightly as well and underneath has a slightly different uh stuff going on as well uh so yeah it's quite a nice little change i quite like these little subtle ones um that just sort of enhance the look of the ship as opposed to sort of changing it this looks a lot more aggressive looking and i quite like that we then have the noma i actually really like this one so the base noma i just quite like the look of the ship it's very like industrial looking and it's just a shame that it's bar the support variant it's pretty much relatively useless it would be cool if there was like a version of this that could maybe take like a single fighter or something like that so you could just get fighters out into little frigate fleets and stuff that'd be really cool um 
But yeah, as we can see in the upgraded one, it's like it's received like this massive armor pack. It's got armored um, hangar bays and stuff like that. They armored up the engines slightly more. It's just, it just looks hencher. I quite like it. I do quite like that. I wouldn't know if that would cause an issue though. If you armored up the hangar in such a way that you know you blocked off the top entrance, as it were, almost to it, you'd struggle to get your aircraft or UAVs back in because you'd have to come from underneath or direct from the sides. So yeah, interesting though. I do quite like it. We then have the Reliat. Um, as you can see, it's keeping its very stealthy looked ship and uh, design, which in my opinion it's just like the epitome of what this sh uh, ship's all about especially when you're running the stealth in it's just got that sort of stealth feel to it and it looks fantastic so in the enhanced version you can see the front ends extended slightly uh, and it's got a couple more little tiny details here and there for the most part though this one's again a very subtle one um, not too much going on. You can see at the rear where the um, command uh, is, that's been changed and it looks like the command center has been, or the bridge has been moved back. I guess it's not really a bridge, is it? It's a conning tower. Would it be a conning tower? I guess it'd be a conning tower. Uh, has been moved back and it's got some stuff going on, uh, kind of on like the, the wingy sort of protrusions on the top deck. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a nice design. We then have the Ruby, which I showed off a little bit earlier. This is a better picture though. Uh, well, it's easier to see because it's a comparison. You can see both uh, the base and the enhanced next to each other. You can see these weird little things coming off the front. You can see around the hull here that it's got in like uh, an additional bit underneath it that's armored up. Uh, some of this portion of what I can guess is maybe crew quarters or something like that. Uh, it's weird wingy things have gotten a bit thicker uh, so a bit more armored up there uh, the tail end looks more or less the same bar this additional uh, part sticking out near the bottom but yeah no it's quite nice quite nice look that again quite subtle just gives it that sort of beefier sort of edge like it can take a bit more of a beating the Xeno Stinger this is one of my favorite ones when it's enhanced you can see the base here and as you can see on the hands it's quite a different change it's got extensions uh, like spontoon extensions on the front part of the hull um the weird circle bit that's in the middle where all the uavs connects no longer particularly visible and you have this additional front armor uh, and then all of the uh thrusters or all of the weird round bits that sort of attach to the uavs have like an additional armored section on them as well as well as the sides and stuff like that you can see there's a lot more um sort of antennary sort of things on here as well uh, which is also pretty cool then we go over to the destroyers oh wait no we go over to the uh, t um this one again is like really, really subtle. It's got some like additional stuff going down at the bottom, uh, like on the sides. But other than that, there really isn't too much going on with this design at all. Uh, it's a bit interesting, but uh, you know, is what it is. That's the way they chose to do it. So there you go. But yeah, it's it's, it's nice. It's very subtle. It's all along this like. On the side you can see like this sort of additional armor where it's been extended out a little bit uh we then go to the destroyers and we'll start off here with the ac721 um so for the most part uh, like a quick glance it looks pretty much identical but if you look there are some additional details like just beneath this conning tower um you can see there's like on the base there's like this single sort of stick coming out we're on the other side it's like a big block uh the armor's all protruded out on the sides as well which is quite nice and there's additional armor towards the uh the rear of the uh, ship we've also got some wingy bits sticking out of the side thrust as well um so yeah it's quite cool i quite like the the upgraded ac721 we then have the aldebra 
Um, as you can imagine, with the Noma ships that are all about big, heavy, armoured ships, they're usually quite slow. Uh, the Aldebaran is no exception here. It's slow, and when it gets enhanced, it gets even more armour and bigger and fatter. So, pretty cool look. And, and yeah, very typical of the design of uh, Noma. Uh, the fact that all these uh, designs and like the enhanced versions keep within sort of the manufacturer of the ship design um, for, you know, Juniper Industries, Noma and stuff like that. It's really quite nice. So you definitely got like this additional sort of cool factor to them. Uh, that's, you know, quite feels like it's part of the law. The series is one of the most ridiculous changes or like i kind of prefer the look of the base one and in this one and that's due to the fact that what happens here is so you have your your basic hole at the top and that's the same as the the base variant right but then they add this additional sort of hole that's kind of like attached underneath and then instead of having the hangar bays at like a 45 degree angle coming off of the sort of like triangular top hull, they're at a 90 degree angle down, sort of just sat uh, below the middle, as you can see here. Um, I do quite like it. It's just, I think the, the base version looks a little bit slicker for me. Uh, so I kind of prefer that look. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I, I'm not saying it's like bad or anything just prefer the the base we then have the um eris here so looking at the eris you can't really tell too much it's got like this additional part of a death star or death star star destroyer uh coming out from the side here instead of just going like a single one all the way along it's got like an additional one above so i'm guessing the entire ship's been sort of moved up and down a little bit sort of stretched out that way the um thrusters have sort of and this housing at the back has all been moved backwards a little bit which is quite a nice look as well so it is slightly longer i believe than the uh the base variant uh well say the unenhanced uh version which is quite cool we then have the guardian uh as you can see very very little has changed here at all it's extremely subtle um you have pretty much just like this side bit here coming out uh, which is from this section up here and yeah that's about it really i can't see much else it's a little bit different at the front as well not much going on there though bit of a shame that because they, they could have definitely done something a bit cooler in my opinion we then look at the wing tassar for the most part with the wing tassar it just kind of gets a bit fatter so like it gets elongated slightly and the missiles get moved backwards a little bit onto these sort of additional spontoons that come out of the current spontoons and yeah for the most part that is more or less all that's really going on there we then have the kwawa um as you can see it's kind of like got this additional armor down at the bottom on the side you got this extra weird little disc like the on the rear thruster here you've got these weird disc things it's got an additional one um and it's got some additional weird rounded bits these always kind of remind me of like r2d2 for some reason like when you got r2d2 and he's in fight inside you know, the um, X-Wings and it's like little heads popping out these little weird circles on the ship kind of remind me of that for some reason um, a little bit changed with this uh, sort of bridge at the top here as well uh, sort of getting a little bit larger and then the sort of deck it's sat on changing around a little bit I think the Kwawa is just like a really cool looking ship and it definitely does uh, look pretty good with the enhanced version we then have the Taurus, and this one again, Noma, it's gotten bigger, fatter, and more armor uh, for the most part. This additional front armor, uh, additional armor down on the spontoon, on the midsection spontoon. Uh, it's got, it's sort of lost like a bit of armor at the bottom and the front part of the spontoon, and then sort of additional armor placed down instead. 
Uh, it also looks like it might be a little bit larger, like uh, a little bit longer, because the elongation looks a touch longer. It could just be the shot, though. But yeah, no, it's quite nice. Quite like that. We then have... Uh, which one's this one? Oh, this is the Tundra. So... The Tundra, I believe this might be the aircraft fairing with the hangers on the side. Uh, you can see here, there's quite a bit going on with the Tundra in the first place, but more or less it's got like this extended front section, which has got like an extra bit at the bottom that runs down the length of the ship. Uh, on the rear uh, sort of wing or spontoon or whatever you want to call it, you've got this additional armoured section here with what looks kind of like a turret emplacement. So it's been moved from the uh, sort of closer to the bridge out onto these wings. A um, little bit additional armour near the hangar. Uh, the hangar entrance has uh, changed as well. And the like top deck has like a few different bits and details and stuff on it as well. Again, pretty cool. I quite like the, the look of that. Moving on to cruisers now though. So, first up, we'll have a look at the Callisto. Again, pretty subtle on the Callisto. Its rear thruster housing has gotten larger. The missile pods have all gotten slightly bigger. Um, uh, but the biggest difference is on the very front section, which has got slightly longer. Other than that, this is a very subtle difference between the base and the maxed out TP1. The Cass is really cool. I love the look of the enhanced cast. So the I love the look of the base cast. I think it's one of the coolest looking ships because I love the idea of this asymmetrical design in ships uh, anyway, uh, with its torpedoes facing away from the enemy so they're shooting over the ship, kind of giving it like it's using the whole ship to block its main weapon system uh, so it doesn't get knocked out, which is really cool in the first place. And then, like, in the enhanced version, you got, like, these extra pointed bits, and it just looked overall a lot more aggressive with this extra additional armor on it and stuff like that. It's a fantastic-looking ship in the enhanced version. We then have the Chimera, everyone's favorite ship. I believe this is the heavy cannon one because it's got the cannons on it as opposed to the missiles, but more or less these are all the same uh, regardless between them. You just have maybe some slightly different turrets or something on them, uh, but for the most part the ships just look the same when you enhance them uh, between all the variants. So. As you can see, this additional top deck gets extended right the way back to where the bridge meets. Um, it's got more armor, it's got these double, instead of having one of these single weird front bow sections, like a plow sort of thing, it's got two of them. Uh, and an additional one in the middle that's a little bit different to the, the two off the base. Uh, so yeah. Looks overall armoured. This thing looks really cool uh, from the front. Unfortunately, I don't have a shot of that. Uh, but yeah, straight on, like a front view. Looks really quite cool. We then have the Connemara, which gets um, considerably longer because <laughs> the, you know, the long ship needs to get longer. It has a more aggressive look as well with a lot more sort of uh, aggressive looking lines pointing forwards and stuff like that. The uh, thrusters in the rear have been extended back as well as the front. You've got additional armor in the midsection. Uh, but yeah, again, it's another one of a bit more subtle, but it does definitely change the look of the ship. It looks a lot, looks a lot faster, for example, and a lot more aggressive. It's uh, it's quite nice. We have then. The IO, this is one of my favorite enhanced ships as well. The base IO as well is just really cool because it does just look like a giant flying gun. And it kind of reminds me of the UNSC ships from um, Halo due to the fact that it is kind of like giant flying rail gun. Um, so yeah, really cool design. And you can see in the enhanced one, it's just gotten like bigger and fatter with these additional armored placements on the sides. Uh, the front's been armoured up a little bit more, um, and you got these, uh, yeah, it, it's just genuinely just like a really cool look, uh, having this like additional stuff. You do kind of lose this side bit, which I kind of like, where you got this flat side bit that kind of looks almost like maybe like when it's docked up with an atmosphere or something, you could walk down or something like that. Um, 
but yeah, that, that gets covered up a little bit, which is kind of a bit of a shame. Uh, it would have been nice if it was maybe extended out a little bit, and then you'd have the, the additional armor. But um, yeah, no, it is still really quite cool looking. I did quite like it. We then have, uh, I believe this is the Jaeger. So, uh, interesting shot of the Jaeger we got here. As you can see, for the most part, not much changes on the rear at all, but on this front section, it gets extended out at the front and we get this additional sort of bit on the bottom, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, it does look quite cool. Um, it'd be nicer to see some different angles of this one, but yeah. The KCCV, uh, one of, again, one of my least favorite ships. It's just not, yeah, I just don't like it. I don't know why. It, there's something about it with its weird sort of bow that has like this weird top bit section on top of it. This big fat uh, thrusters on the rear. Uh, the Enhanced Edition, really quite cool. Well, it's cooler. It's still not cool enough to be in like my top favorites. Um, so yeah, the, the front section got this, uh, another weird extension. We got some weird stuff going on on the rear as well with some extended uh, profiles and this odd sort of, um, I keep calling these spontoons. I don't know if that is the correct word for it or not, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Weird thing on the side. Then have the light cone. So the light cone uh, kind of gets like an additional one of these weird lumpy things at the rear. Uh, and then kind of just gets kind of fatter. It's got some more like stuff going on on the sides. Uh, as you can see underneath like where you've got this uh, triangular shape where it meets the bow, which is square. You've got like additional support and stuff there going on with an additional hull part there as well. Uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Never been a fan. There's something about the light kind that I just don't like as well. Even like the enhanced version, it, just, it kind of feels like it's too flat. And the weird X-wing thing going on at the rear. Yeah, not a fan of it. It's got a nice bridge though, or conning tower. I do like that. We then look at the Predator. This is by far one of my favorite looking ships and the enhanced version is absolutely awesome. Uh, this is probably the, my favorite ship in the game at base is the Predator and the enhanced version is probably, the, it does look even better. It's got massive amounts of armor, the hangars get armored up, uh, the side gets armored up, you've got armor coming along the whole front of the top deck now, additional armor on the uh, bow as well. Uh, you've got additional uh, antenna arrays set up on the front to you know, help control aircraft and stuff like that. This is awesome. By far the coolest looking one. We then go over to the battle cruisers and the carriers. So we're gonna start off with the Constantine because that is probably everyone's favorite one. As you can see, not really much going on when you max out a carrier. Bear in mind that to do this, it's like 300 TP. Uh, so it's quite a lot, but probably more, maybe like 350. So yeah, <laughs> pretty hard to get these to max. As you can see, it kind of keeps sort of the base shape of the ship for the most part. It's just got these additional armored pieces dotted around on the front, on the uh, mid uh, hull or mid front hull. Uh, on the top deck, you've got these additional sort of part of like a, almost like a flybridge kind of thing going on. And yeah. It's quite cool. It's definitely quite cool, but it's not uh, It's not awesome. The Eternal Storm. In my opinion, this is the best looking of a maxed out... Um, yeah, a maxed out ship. I think this just looks awesome. So, like, you can see the base version. It's just, like, a really cool look. But this enhanced version just looks so much more aggressive. It's got this, like, additional, like extensions at the rear that give it this like fast looking shape it narrows down to a better point on the uh sort of the bottom hull and yeah really really cool this is probably you know, up there with the predator and the series for me in terms of visual appearance this paint job on it as well just sort of accentuates all that sort of 
forward facing design to go so sort of make it look like it goes faster we then got the spear of uranus uh, as you can see as per typical with the noma ships we've seen so far it's just got fatter <laughs> it's got more armor on the rear it's got more armor at the front it's got more armor in the mid it's just more armor everywhere and uh, some additional hull parts and stuff like that it's also got some additional thrust on the back which is quite interesting it's quite cool uh don't unfortunately have an st59 uh which is a bit of a shame to show off uh, i haven't maxed it myself yet so we'll move on to the carriers for now and um maybe i'll post in my discord or something the st59 when someone gets hold of one uh we then have the cv3k as you can see on the cv3k instead of having this uh left hand part of the hull just squaring off it's getting a nice little point again same on the right hand side we're getting like a little pointy bit added uh, more or less, a bit fatter, a little bit armoured around the hangers here as well, and some additional spontoony things coming off on the right hand side. And uh, the, the rear sort of um, housing or the rear part of the ship sort of gets a little bit more blocky, I think, in my opinion, rather than it's a bit smoother, and I actually think that suits the design of the ship a little bit better. Uh, it's quite cool. I, I would love one of these, but you know, it's like 500 TP. We then go to the giant flying brick, and it looks more like a giant flying brick with the front part here being in line with the top part of the front, and more brick-like. And yeah, for the most part, this generally does look more like a giant flying brick than it previously does, which is quite impressive because it was pretty much a brick in the first place. It's now like a super brick. Uh, yeah, not much to say here. It's got like additional arm and additional hull parts. The front section, as mentioned, has this additional bit down at the bottom uh, left you can see in that picture. And um, yeah, it kind of like squares off the front even more than it was squared off before, which is quite fun. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So there you go. Which are your favourite? Leave a comment down below. It would be interesting to see what you guys think and uh, what you guys really like. Uh, for me, I think it's going to be Predator top, followed by a joint second third with the Eternal Storm and the Ceres. Um, that Predator just looks far too cool. Far too cool. Definitely the best design ship in the game. Even at base, it's probably still the best design ship in the game, in my opinion. It just epitomizes what a carrier is, in my, uh, from like what I think about a carrier uh, for space anyway, with the side-mounted hangers on either side and the um, that sort of relatively fastish looking aesthetic, like high-speed carrier. So yeah, definitely uh, the Predator for me. Again, I do like most of these. There is a few that I didn't like, uh, as mentioned, but you know, is what it is this is entirely opinionated video uh so there you go have a good one guys i hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely let me know which ones are your favorites and i'll catch you next time